play cars, you should know that there's a few types of different cars. Muscle, JDM, and a few other different ones. Hypercars, supercars, whatever else. Now, JDMs are a really nice car just because of their sleek design that J like Japanese engineers have never, like lots of American muscle and all that stuff has never done before. It's all that JDM, like Japanese kind of like engineers have made their cars so much different from the American muscle and hypercars and everything that their sleek design makes their cars so much faster, like Toyota Supras, Toyota Turbo MR2s, and lots of different other cars. Now, I feel like JDM cars are some of the best on the market and most of the expensive on the market, especially the Skyline series like the R31, R32, R33, R34, and even R35. Now, for me personally, I love I love the R34. It's a very nice, sleek design, and it's very, very good on price. Sometimes, well, you have to be pretty rich to buy it. But personally, the lower budget cars like Miatos, 180SXs, 240SXs, lots of different other JDM cars can be really cheap, and plus. JDM cars are really easy to tune and really easy to work with, especially Miatas, and some of them could be really, really cheap. Only thing is, some of them can also be pretty hard to work on, but most of them are pretty easily tunable, and lots of them are pretty cheap. If you're looking to get a pretty good car, and you like Japanese cars, go for JDMs. Thank you for watching the video. Like, sub, comment. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!